kinesiology in Sedona North and I'm going to go through just a few models and right now we're March 2020 and we're dealing with the COVID-19 global pandemic. So this is a model that you might be familiar with. This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So as we look at the pyramid structure here, we look on the bottom, our physiological needs. These are basic uh, food, water, air. This is what we need to survive. Clothing, shelter, safety needs, personal security, employment, resources, health, property, love and belonging, falls of love above that, or friendship, intimacy, family, sense of uh, connection, esteem needs. Now this is moving into respect, self-esteem or status, recognition, strength, and freedom. And finally, once we move to the top, that's self-actualization. That's our desire to become uh, the most that we can be. Now right now, with a lot of you know, stress and things going on, and times of uncertainty, times of economic uncertainty, health uncertainty, we'll see people, um, rather than moving up, we'll, we'll see a lot of people moving down, companies moving down here. So we just have to really pay attention to these, those needs. Now here's another example of a model we can look at, and this is the Lencioni model uh, for teams. Um, so five dysfunction of the team or five methods of a cohesive team. So when our team's in dysfunction, we're having an absence of trust, uh, fear of conflict, lack of communication, avoidance of accountability, and an inattention to results. But again, we can see the foundation here for trust. So when our teams are operating good, we're having trust. But again, you know, in these uncertain times, there's a lot of things like even walking into stores these days and we're having to socially distance and ourselves. You know, we hear someone cough in the background and we're eyeing them up. So there's a lot of this uh, distrust, this uh, which can spur conflict, um, lacks of communication. So again, it's important for us to look at, you know, how can our work teams, um, even our family units, how can we, you know, maintain trust? How can we have healthy conflict, healthy conversations? How can we be committed, um, accountable, and how can we focus on getting results that we want? So I'm gonna present a third model. And this is something that you might not be familiar with, you may not have seen, but this is a different way of looking at a, a triangle model. So take yourself, put yourself, and put yourself right in the center. So think of yourself, and think of yourself as the system, the system of you. So when we look at this model, on the bottom here, we look at structure. So when we look at things like structure, if we're thinking of buildings and that, we might look at foundation for you, these are your principles. These are your fundamental, your core beliefs. Um, and this is a new way to look at a model for health, you know, especially in these times. So again, you want to have a good structure. For example, um, having a lower lumbar uh, number three vertebrae out, you know, we could start seeing symptoms, you know, headaches, pain in our neck, pain in our shoulder, pain in the wrist, pain in our ankle, knee, hip all stemming from one point just due to the nerve response. So we want to make sure that, you know, our structure, especially in these times that we're maintaining good structure, good form, good balance, um, all those things, that's going to set ourselves up for our best health success. Uh, on the sides, we can see chemical and we can see mental. So chemical, think of any inputs that you're putting in. So now again, we're faced with challenges because with clinic closures and things like that, you might not be able to get prescriptions or, or things like that, but inputs can be anything. Inputs can be um, the food you're eating, uh, the exercise that you're enduring, uh, going for walks. Um, we also wanna be really present on the negative inputs. So if you're spending too much time watching the news, you know, maybe you're, you need to unplug from some of the social media things like that. We want to have more healthy inputs, more coming in. I like to use this example, uh, GIGO. This comes from computer languaging. 
Uh, we can look at this as garbage in, garbage out, or good in, good out. Now mental, mental is more the outputs. So when Jen and I go into schools and we teach this to kids, you know, for example, we would say your teacher teaches you the class. You're taking in your lessons, your inputs. Now you're um, taking all that information and now you have to present and do your report. You have to do your assignment. But now if all of a sudden you're also taking inputs of unhealthy food, um, you have a lot of stress in that, that's gonna affect your overall output. So it's really important in times like this that we're bringing in as much of uh, those healthy inputs as we can. Again, maintaining our structure, good form. Um, this is gonna have our holistic system operating at its best capacity. So again, in a systems model, we're looking at inside our cell, inside our self, every cell is intelligent, okay? We don't have to think to breathe. We don't have to think to allow our heart to pump, our organs to do all the processes. Um, lots of the health experts are going on and they're saying things like when you're experiencing these symptoms like coughing and that, your body's doing this for a reason. You have to allow your body to um, do these natural processes because that's what it's using to fight off infection and you know you're going to need to take that time for rest if you do get sick. So again, making sure you're taking time for yourself. Um, so instead of our body breaking down and thinking of um, like a machine, a car, we have to repair it, we need to start to see ourselves as our bodies as being able to learn, adapt, and improve over time. We're constantly regenerating cells, and we have to look at this self-directed system as, as being able to do that. So what are some things that we can do? What are a host of better inputs that we can start bringing into our body system? Well, we wanna start relying on our body's intelligence, trusting our body's intelligence. When we're tired, we need to rest, okay? We need to, pay especially in times like this, pay attention to those things. Avoid toxins, you know, cigarettes, cutting down your alcohol consumption, all these things, these are gonna lower your immune system. So right now, reducing, minimizing the toxins that we're putting in. Uh, building a positive mood, you know, doing whatever activities, you know, watching comedy movies, anything that's gonna bring up your mood, um, better inputs, again, strong self-esteem, a sense of worth, okay? Uh, generosity of spirit, helping someone else, that's gonna produce all kinds of, you know, those feel-good hormones like serotonin, that, that's just gonna boost up your immune system as well. Uh, loving, nurturing relationships, we need to pay attention to those and not stressing over others, okay? First and foremost, we need to look at ourselves and we look, need to look at taking care of ourselves first and foremost. Um, becoming self-aware and being comfortable with our inner world. Again, right now with these mental thoughts and everything coming on, if we find ourselves slipping down that slope, we need to start putting a lot of attention, maybe listening to some motivational, some positive inspirational messages, uh, reducing any of the stressors we can. Again, good night's sleep, getting as much sleep as we can, you know, at least seven to nine hours per night. Um, Again, having a relaxed and accepting attitude. Again, what can we do? So think of the serenity prayer, you know, grant me the ability to do the things that I can do and the actions that I can take and to respect those that really are out of my control. Uh, being of service to others, giving, making time for play, playful attitude, you know, with our kids, with our pets, devote self to projects that have meaning and purpose, okay? So in this times, finding those projects and maybe taking on some volunteer opportunities of some sort. Maybe that's a virtual volunteer. Maybe that's giving if you can, like do a gratitude list. Look at all those things that, that we have right now, especially us living in Western, Western countries, maturing from the inside and also having a reverence for nature. Okay, so being able to get outside, again, keeping our distance from others, but fresh air, 
get outside, you know, when we're with the plants and trees, that's just going to bring our mood up a lot better. So thank you for paying attention, listening this far, and, you know, right now is the best time to take some time for yourself and eliminate those stresses, unplug from the news, and start putting in some of those positive inputs into your life right now. Thank you.